All right, welcome to episode four. Last episode, we went around, we went to the nether, grabbed some reforce, uh, resources, and we built a uh, basic chicken farm. I didn't really like the way that it turned out. I was more just kind of rushing to put it together because I was just so excited because I love chicken farms because they're just evil. Um, and I just didn't like it, so I'm actually going to tear this one down. I realize it's also very, very close to where I'm currently living, and chickens make... annoying noises and now it's quiet whatever so I'm just gonna tear this thing down I've actually converted this just to be a safe place for the chicken to sit drop eggs um, I'm gonna slowly try and get more chickens in there I've been gathering up some other chickens I don't really like getting them to walk up and drop in a hole it's kind of annoying so I just you know let it ride work with it um, I'm probably going to yeah I'm gonna dig under here really quick just to make it a little easier to get out, which it's going to be a little tricky because I don't want to drown or anything, but I really don't want to have to constantly have to drop into this hole just to get out. And there are tons of ways for me to get around this, but I'm just using this as like a quick way out. No big deal. Alright. So I think, hopefully, maybe, speed this up. We'll just drop these in here. Nothing. Oh, wait. Nope, we got a baby chicken. Yay! So as soon as he grows up, this is going to be twice as fast, which is great. I think I'm just going to tear this thing down and apart so that it's a bit more uh, clean and clear. So you can just kind of see what's happening a little bit easier inside of my giant chicken farm of death. A little less ugly. But it's a good start. I don't really mind that. Um, yeah. I feel like it's good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up uh, a new base position up here on the hill. I've been kind of scouting around and really I'm pretty satisfied uh, with this little area on top of the hill. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of um, select exactly where I want to space this thing up on top of the hill here and then I'm gonna build a walkway and start just doing some foundational layout stuff. Now let's see. I'll just clear away some of the grass here and see. Grass, 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 grass. Okay, now I could scrounge around and find a bunch of dirt and make this whole area go up. If I like but you know it's tall enough as it is it gives me a nice commanding view I don't feel like it needs to be that much taller so I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this dirt off and you know believe it or not dirt dirt can be kind of annoying to get I don't always uh, have a lot of it and it never goes as far as I think it should so I'm just gonna just shave this off and build myself a nice little platform on which to build my future house slash base. Um, I am a big fan of having kind of an open plan as far as bases, just the ability to run around and kind of do whatever. I don't do a lot of long hallways and things like that. Um, I tend not to do a lot of superfluous furniture. Uh, I don't really feel like that that's the, um, the best use of my time and energy. And we'll maybe switch over my headphones and realize I'm recording listening to my speakers. Alright. Better? Alright. Much better. Okay. Yeah, it's getting towards night again. Now, I've been actually running around for a couple days doing odds and ends. Um, nothing big, just kind of like looking at resources, taking a look around, doing some exploring. Um, it has been good and useful, um, but you know, it wasn't on camera and I didn't do anything really weird, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. All right, so we'll go in and sleep. Night, night. Alrighty. So, looks good. A little disorganized, um, but I'm still just kind of 
you know, looking around, taking stock of the land. No big deal, no big deal. So, I think... Hup, 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 hup. Yeah, we're going to build up here. And... Yeah. Yeah, we're going to want to widen this a little bit. So we'll probably just start placing down some blocks to kind of make this into a slightly more broad hill. I think that's what we're looking for here. Uh, uh, uh. Fill in underneath there here in a minute. All right. Yeah. That's a pretty good size. I don't build massive structures. You know, again, I it's just not really my favorite way uh, to do things, but I do like to build something that's got some heft to it. So I think this will be good to get started. Right. Plenty of carrots, plenty of carrots. Let's go through and whoop, whoop. Just fill these in. All right. Yeah, I think this will be good. We'll probably put, um, probably do here, and at least over here, give or take. Yeah. And then we'll probably go back around about here. So it's a nice long base. I kind of like the idea of having the wide part um, over here, although. Maybe I could do that the other way, because, you know, I do make broad houses, and I do want to have them facing a certain direction, have all those nice windows facing off into the different biomes. So maybe, maybe, we'll put our house here, and run it along here. So it's nice and wide. Yeah, I like that. Then I'll just um, keep this as kind of a nice entryway area, courtyard, grass, deck, who knows what. And then we'll just extend this out this way a little bit off into my bunny field, which is awesome. Check for some chicken eggs while we're out and running about. Egg. Egg. I had a glitch where Minecraft uh, actually crashed and I needed to update my Java and it was kind of cool when I came back on every single chicken that had been uh, spawned had an egg by it so I was able to grab a whole bunch of eggs. I didn't get a lot of chickens from that um, in the cruelest twist of fate imaginable um, but I found it uh, it was kind of a nice little surprise Just getting all those eggs. Occasionally when you crash, you might lose some data or something like that, but this turned out to be kind of a good thing. So, let's see. Run, run, run. Alright. I did switch on a, a texture pack or two. I'm kind of toying around with kind of the look I want. I do like this, you know, more tan gravel. I feel like that actually looks pretty decent, so we'll probably keep that. Alright. Come on, eggs. Oop. <laughs> Check out one of the essential blocks. There we go. And one more chicken. All right. We are picking up the pace here. That's awesome. Now, I'm going to be in this area long term, and the longer you're in it, a certain in chunks, uh, the local difficulty level goes up. So it occurs to me I'm going to need to go to the nether, pick up some nether brick. So I'll have to drop off some resources here. I'm going to drop off my more boring resources, but bring my cobblestone with. Now, the reason I'm doing that um, is because... Um, I need to fortify my, uh, my ender portal a little bit better, uh, than I've had it so far. Bring those back. Um, and that's just kind of housekeeping, basic, 
Minecraft 101. I've never been a big fan of building a bunker um, wherever my uh, portals wind up. Ooh, interesting nether texture. Um, but I do think it's a good idea to just kind of have some form of storage, useful things just kind of lying around. Not like I'm saying I need a bed or anything, just, you know, stuff. So, alright, I think what I'm going to do... I should bring some sand or gravel in here so I can explore around a bit. I don't want to get lost in the caves here. Definitely don't want to get lost. But I do want to pick up some nether brick. Or nether rack, make nether brick. Alright. Get some efficiency on this pick and then we can actually be really cruising. Now, I still haven't done any enchanting yet. I'm going to wait until I... Um, sit down and actually like gut the uh, libraries inside the village. I've got two. I, I knocked out one um, set of bookshelves mainly because I needed a book to make the enchanting table, uh, but I'm not really in a hurry to, you know, perma break uh, the village just yet. I, mean, I know there's no big deal. I'm just I'm saving it. I'm just saving it. Alright. Mm. Got a stack of nether brick. Probably gonna use another brick um, to decorate the chicken farm. I do like the look uh, in general of stone brick uh, combined with the nether brick. Um, I just think it looks good. You know, no other reason than that. Alright, resource, 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 resource. Yay! Alright. Mm, let's put that there for OCD purposes. Okay. Let's put this down. Alright. Sweet. Uh, patch that. No reason not to. Alright. Uh, let's see. I'll leave the cobblestone here. I don't really need it where I'm going. Lots of cobblestone. Available. So we'll go back and we'll put this in our smelter. Uh, make sure it's all fired up. And then we'll have some nice uh, nether brick to work with. That. All right. Good. Have to fuel that up. Look at that. All right. Grab some of our coal. I know we got charcoal in there at the moment. I'll have to swap that out. Some coal here. Grab another rack. So disorganized at the moment. I'll turn you into torches. Okay. Alright. Looking good, looking good. Okay, so we've got some nether brick going. We've got some eggs. Probably. Coming up now, but two eggs, two eggs. All right, we're doing, we're doing good. Let's check uh, our other egg hatchery area here. All right, two more eggs. That's good. It's a very low tech way of getting out. There are other ways. I'm just, I'm just feeling busy. All right, just there. Nothing. That's okay. All right. Let's see. All right. Let's think. Village planning. So this is um, a nice village. Uh, I like it. I am a little worried about the villagers and them staying safe. So I'm probably going to go through 
and light the whole thing at some point. Um, but when I do that, I want to kind of build a nice little set of walls. We'll probably secure it. We're also going to go, well, what are we going to build as far as, like, borders and boundaries? So let's see. I've got a nice main street here. I actually lowered the well. That was a fun little trip. I've been flattening out the streets a little bit, trying to just smooth it out a little less annoying. I'm going to start adding in, like, stairs and things like that. I'm going to try and maintain the look of the town, but still generally make it look presentable. Alright, it's getting night again. Alright. And pop up in the morning. There we go. Okay. So I've got some potatoes. Those are nice. I don't really care about potatoes. Just a random chest. Well, okay. So, looking at this town, let's grab some pillaring material. And looks like dirt's our best choice. Grab some shovels just so I can move around easy. Get roughly in the center of town. Now, I've got this area over here where I'm going to be putting my house, my big house. This is just a permanent residence. I just kind of borrowed that. Um, you know, wanted to have a place where I could keep my stuff safe. And it's it's been nice, but I don't really like going in and out of it. It's not the type of house that I like. I want something bigger, grander. Um, so looking at this, um, I'm probably going to turn this into a garden of some sort. Well, I'll probably just square off the village around here. And then leave a little bit of room next to these lakes. Just cut it off right here. And I'll include the walls around the exterior here. And that should look good. That should look good. I'll probably do some kind of wood and stone affair. I've got uh, a wall type that I'm pretty comfortable with. And it's pretty resource friendly because it, it uses uh, you know stone brick, which is plentiful, plentiful in the world. I think I might start converting some of these blocks away from cobblestone because I, I have yet to find a cobblestone texture pack that I actually like the look of. I will probably build another portal from here to the spawn area, mainly because I just like to keep oriented. That's probably how I'll get around in most situations. Probably do a few minecart systems and things like that, but nothing, nothing over grand or anything. Unless I totally break down going to creative mode or um, just go crazy nuts. So that's fine. All right. Well, I think um, I will probably, you know, we're going to do some mining. Because I'm going to need some resource, so I'm going to need to actually start um, putting my materials up here uh, to build a house. So this will be the beginning of my construction phase, which, hey, that's pretty exciting, right? Let's run down the mine. We'll do one more egg check. Just run around like crazy here. As the episodes get more and more advanced in time, I'm, I'm probably going to be a bit more organized in my approach. Because I think I was talking about that in the last one. Uh, right now, the, you know, everything's just way too crazy for me to walk in with a solid plan every episode. There's just too too much to do, so many little tasks, um, and there's just not enough time to be that orga organized and focused yet. So, we will dive down the hole. Now I only have so much food, I think I'm gonna, there we go. I'm actually gonna um, oop, uh, go down here without food. I don't need a ton of food, I just need I just need uh, just to mine, get some resources. Like it, it doesn't—it's not a huge deal. I just have to start digging out what I got, right? And I'm just gonna stick around the lava, so I don't have to worry about light sources or anything like that. And I'm just mainly going for cobblestone at this point. Like I'm not worrying about iron. It's like right there. <sighs> Iron—you can never have enough iron. Oh, fiddlesticks. Never, 
ever have enough iron. Alright, we'll just start mining around this pool of lava. That'll give us some resources. We'll probably run across a, you know, a bunch of other useful stuff that we're just going to not be able to help but mine. And that's just the way it works. So I'm just going to do this. I mean, this seems to be pretty much what I'm doing for today's episode. Uh, just gathering resources. I'm not going to have this necessarily turning into just a mining thing. Maybe I'll make that its own separate video, its own separate series. You just watch. I'll start doing that. Here we go.